Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today is a pretty exciting day for all of us WW folks. It is the day that the new plan, Personal Points, launches. It's the official day. Um, yesterday, they un unveiled it. They talked about it in, in meetings and on Zoom meetings and everything. But today is the day that the app launches. So I thought I would bring you along with me while I set up my new app. I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't touched it yet. So this is, video is probably going to be pretty raw. Um, but I thought maybe if we did it together, we'd have a shot at getting it right the first time. So without further ado, let's get started on setting up our new WW personal points. And I'm excited. Let's see what this new program has in store for us. Okay. Here we go. We're going to open up the app. New personal points. Joan, good to see you. Our new personal points program is individualized to you. Let's start with a bit about how our new personal points program will help you hit your goals. It's built around the latest nutrition and behavior change science. But most importantly, it's built around you your life, your favorite foods, to make sure you live the life you love and lose the weight you want. That's why we call it personal points. No two plans are alike. Our personal points engine will give you an easy to live food plan based on what you love to eat and an activity target customized to you. Let's go. It says, let's figure it out together. This will be quick, about three minutes. So we're gonna click on that. Before we dive in, a quick but important question. Are you living with type one or type two diabetes? Not including prediabetes or digestional diabetes. No, I am not. Thanks for letting us know. There's something on the screen here. I should have cleaned my screen before we started, huh? All that personalization we've talked about, it's time to put into action. Now your personal preferences and our most revolutionary program ever come together to create your unique food plan. Let's start with the basics. How often do you enjoy eating vegetables? FYI, most days means more than half the week. I definitely am most days with that because we have veggies every day. And you need to answer these honestly. Don't answer what you think they want to hear because that'll just mess your points up. Joan, that's great to hear because on our program, you'll earn points for eating non-starchy vegetables like broccoli, cucumber, and spinach, which have fiber to help you stay full. More about that ahead. How often do you enjoy eating fruit? Oh, most days. Fruit is my favorite. We love fruit too. In fact, we have 400 plus recipes dedicated to it. We want to make sure your budget has plenty of room for your favorites. So please answer honestly. This is a no judgment zone. Which of these do you enjoy eating most days? Select all that apply. Full fat dairy. Absolutely. Because I do eat full fat, full fat cheese. Beef, pork, lamb. Yep. Salty snacks, enjoy most days. That's more than half the week. Eh. Not really. Sweet snacks, not more than half. Refined grains, bread crackers, and cereals. Yes, I love me some bread. Fast food, no. Alcoholic beverages, no. You know what, I'm gonna put salty snacks in there because I do like some pretzels. Sounds good, Joan. WW is all about flexibility and living your life fully. You'll be able to enjoy it all and lose weight. Now let's take a look at some protein rich foods. Which of these do you like to eat most days? The list they give you is eggs. Non-fat yogurt and cottage cheese, fish and self shellfish, chicken and turkey, beans, peas, and lentils, and tofu and tempeh. We're going to go with eggs, 
fish and sell, sh fish and shell fish and chicken and turkey breast. That was an easy one for me. Sounds good. The goal is to create a plan you love. Okay, last question about food. Which of these do you enjoy eating most days? Select up to two or tapped next if none. Okay, now this is a hard one. Potatoes and sweet potatoes, oatmeal, whole wheat pasta, brown rice and quinoa, avocado or corn and popcorn. Wow. I like all six and I can only pick two. Now, from what I understand, this is going to be like the old plan where you could switch between blue, purple, and green. So if you choose something and then realize you don't eat it as much as you thought you did, you can always go in and change it again. So I think I'm going to have to go with, oh my goodness. I'm going to go with potatoes and sweet potatoes for certain. And I'm going to go with, it's a tough one between pasta and brown rice. I'm going to go for brown rice for now, and then I'm going to reevaluate. Okay, last question about food. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a, <laughs> thank you. Now let's talk about activity. At WW, all movement counts, including activity in disguise, like walking the dog, cleaning the house, or swimming with your kids. And with personal points, you'll earn points by moving more. Steps and minutes are both meaningful ways to track your activity and measure progress. For your activity, which of these would you like to use? I want to use minutes. I think, because I'm... Yeah, minutes. You can always go back and change it. Sounds good. We'll use that for your new activity target. Let's figure out how active you are. Your activity during the week is probably different than on weekends. We'll focus on weekdays first. On average, how many days a week are you active from Monday to Friday? I work out five mornings a week, Monday to Friday. So we're definitely choosing five days. Thanks, we'll set an activity target that's realistic but motivating. On average, how many minutes are you active on each of these days, Monday to Friday? Active means 10 minutes or more at a time. If the amount varies, just pick a number in the middle. It's all good. Well, I generally work out anywhere between 45 and 60 minutes. So I'm gonna do what they said, and I'm gonna pick 50 to 59 minutes right in the middle. Just a few more questions. How many days are you active on the weekend? We're gonna do one, because I do take Sunday as a day of rest. Factoring that into your activity target now. I keep forgetting to hit next. I keep thinking it's gonna just pop up for me. On average, how many more minutes are you active each day over the weekend? I'm definitely active, probably a little bit less, so we're gonna go with 40 to 49. Perfect, you're all done. Sit back while we create a plan that is uniquely yours. While personal points engine builds your plan, here's how our newest program makes losing weight simpler. Our point system got a major refresh. Our brand new algorithm crunches even more nutritional data so you're guided toward the very healthiest choices. We're rewarding foods higher in fiber and healthy fats. That means avocado, almonds, and some whole grains are now lower in points than before. We're nudging you away from added sugars and unhealthy fats. Some foods may have gone up a bit in points, but you'll still have plenty in your budget for the food you love. You told us which foods you love and eat regularly, so we've calculated them into your budget. This is how we assure that you have them as a zero point food and still lose weight. So my zero point foods include eggs, fish and shellfish, fruits, brown rice and quinoa, potatoes and sweet potatoes, 
chicken and turkey breast, and non-starchy vegetables. And it gets even better. Now your budget isn't the finish line, it's just the start. You'll earn points for developing sustainable, healthy habits that help you reach your goals. Eat veggies. One cup of non-starchy veggies equals one point added to your daily budget, and it is unlimited. Reach your water goal and earn a point. You add points for drinking water because it, help, it likely means you're drinking less juice or soda, which helps you stay in your budget. Drink up. 60 ounces of water each day gives you one point to your daily budget. Limit it to one per day. Hit the gym or just walk your dog and earn points. Earning points encourages you to be active regularly, which leads to 20% more weight loss when combined with a nutrition plan. Be active. Moving more equals more points to your weekly budget, and it is unlimited. Jones Plan, your new points budget, 19 daily points. You still have weeklies and rollovers, and you can add as many points as you want by doing healthy things. Your zero point foods, reach for these as a base for meals to pump up flavor or as simple snacks without impacting your budget. You don't have to weigh, measure, or count these foods. Your daily activity target, 50 minutes. Your weekly target is 360 minutes and will help you get there. I'm ready to live this or I'm not ready yet. Oh, we're ready, aren't we? And here we go. Here is the new, holy mackerel. 120 weeklies remaining. Now I will say, I started, let's see, I had 28 weeklies yesterday. That is how many I used to get on the purple plan. And I know I rolled four over yesterday. So, so that would be 33 weeklies. This is telling me I have 120. Oh, I know why. My activity. Because I am very active. I have a feeling that that's why I have so many weekly points. Okay, so let's dive deep and let's pretend we're starting our day. So here we go. It looks very similar to what it did, except now we have this that says veggies, water, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. First, before we do anything, I want to go up to my recipes and look for something. I'm trying to think of a recipe that has, oh my goodness, let's see. We are going to look at I did not choose oatmeal with, I did not choose oatmeal as a zero point food. So I'm looking now to see, um, berry baked oatmeal. Oh, will this food earn me points? Look for the plus sign, it means you can earn points. Foods that have one cup or more of non-starchy veggies will have this icon. The number inside tells you the personal points value. Knowing how many points it is will help you stay in budget. So I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to adjust a lot of my recipes that are in the recipe builder already because many times I did not put zero foods into the recipe bank. So that's something I'm gonna have to work on. Let's go in and look at, I'm looking for a recipe now that has, that has veggies in it. Beef stew, here we go. 
one serving is five points, but look, there's the little icon because the uncooked carrots are going to give me extra points. Let's check things like sugar. It looks like one teaspoon is still a point and a tablespoon is four points. Not too bad. How about my beloved cheese? It has gone up one point to five points an ounce instead of four. So what we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna have to play with this a lot and see what's going on. Now, let's decide that we're gonna track our day. So we're gonna track breakfast. So for breakfast, I'm going to have, we're gonna say scrambled eggs. So we're gonna have two eggs. We're gonna track them. Then we're gonna have, oh, you tracked three breakfasts in a row. I've <laughs> and we are gonna, in our eggs, I'm gonna add some veggies. So I'm gonna add some peppers. I'm gonna add a half a cup of peppers. And then I'm going to add some, what else do we add? Asparagus to our eggs. And I'm putting in a half a cup for each one. And if you noticed, I earned one point because I had one cup of veggies in my breakfast. That's pretty cool. And now let's see, I'm gonna add some bacon. And I use the Appleton Farms, is it? No, it's the specially selected center cut bacon. We need a little more inf nutritional information in order to calculate the points. Interesting, add info. Now, I do not have it in front of me right now, so I can't do that, but that is a really cool thing, that if when I put this food in there, I did not put the all the nutritional information in because it wasn't required before, they're gonna ask you to enter it. Now, it looks like this is one I know is in there. See, it has all the information. But if I'm not mistaken, it's 70 points and not 50. So it doesn't look like the bacon went up too much or at all, which is a good thing. Um, someone said tomato sauce went up. I can't imagine that. No, tomato sauce is still five, uh, zero points. Okay, we're good on that one. So pretty much entering your food is going to be just like it was before. Your vegetables are gonna go for your daily points. Your activity is going to go for your weekly points. So this is telling me that I'm supposed to earn 360 minutes and I earned 726. And I am tracking minutes, not steps, because a lot of times I will do HIIT training so I'm not moving around too, too much. And yes, it added 95 weeklies. Wow, okay. I could see how that may cause problems for some people. That's an awful lot of weeklies. So that's gonna be really, really interesting to track and see what goes with that. So the app hasn't really changed much. Now, we do need to enter recipes. That's gonna be a huge one because 
no matter what website you take it off of, everybody's gonna have different zero point foods. So I did an entire video about entering a recipe and nothing is going to change. The only thing that's going to change is the points earned for the veggies. So entering a recipe is gonna be exactly the same way. We click on this white bar, we click on my food, we click on recipe, and then create. Enter a name for your recipe. New. Serves, it's gonna serve four people. Ingredients, add. Then you start adding your ingredients. We're gonna add pork chops. And we need to have a whole pound of them because it's for four people. So you adjust that. And then you just keep adding and adding and adding and your points will be calculated up there just like before. Now, remember before when we could switch back between blue, purple, and green plants? You can also switch up your zero point foods. What you're gonna do is go to the upper right hand corner where your little picture is, your icon, and click on that. And then you're gonna click on settings, which is the little cog. Food settings. Zero point food. Okay, here we go. Remember I said I had 120 weeklies because of all the activity? My weeklies with zero activity are going to be 21 weeklies. So I used to have 28, now I'm going down to 21. And I used to have 23 points on blue, now I'm going to 19. But on purple, I had 16, because I had more zero point foods. So this is where you can get all that information. Zero point foods settings. If we click on that little arrow, you can change up your zero points food mix. Here are some FYIs. You can switch up your zero point foods at any time. Our recommendation, stick with it for a week or so. Keep in mind that changing your zero point foods may also change your food budget, your points budget. So next, why are you changing your zero point foods? I'm curious about a different mix. I want to match my food preferences with a family member or friend. I want more or less. The mix isn't working for me. I'm on a seasonal diet. My food preferences have changed and it's something else. So then take the assessment. You're going to start all over again with the assessment. So do not worry about, you know, if you decide to change something, you can definitely change something. So there you have it. There is our new app. This was just a quick, quick start guide. The app hasn't changed that much. I will link in the description box below and up here in the cards, my other videos to the old app and my video to the recipe builder tutorial because none of that has changed. And you know, as the week goes on and I learn anything, I will certainly bring that to you in my daily videos, my what I eat videos and things like that. So friends, not too many changes with the app and that's not a bad thing because we're all used to it. We know how to use it. Now the thing is, we have to use it. We have to enter our food. We have to log our food. If you have any sort of tracking device, like I have a um, Apple Watch, if you have a Fitbit or a Versa or a Garmin, whatever, make sure that you sync your activity um, device with your app because that will help you calculate your activity points. Um, I'm looking now to see where we do that. I know for me in an iOS and an Apple operating system, you do that, I think I did it right from my watch. Yes, okay, so if you go back into that little cog, into your settings cog, there is a spot that says activity sleep settings. 
if you click on that here, let me turn you around. Activity sleep settings, synchronize a device, and Fitbit synchronizing tips. This will, see I already have Apple Health on mine. So that will lead you through how to sync your device. Syncing your device, like I said, is gonna be important because that's how you're going to earn more weekly points. I'm gonna keep in my head that I start with 21 weekly points because if I see that 120 number, that kind of freaks me out a little bit because there's no way, no way I could eat that many points and lose weight. So that's the only thing I'm not 100% on, but it is what it is, so. Anyway, my friends, I know this was not real in depth. I know this was a little bit scattered because like I said, this is the first time I've seen this app too. So luckily, the good news is it hasn't changed much. We're all used to using it, so it should be seamless. The most important thing is taking that assessment and being honest with your answers. If you don't eat vegetables, Tell them you don't eat vegetables. It's okay. Like they said, no judgment zone. No judgment zone. If, you know, if you want, I'm trying to think. You know, if you drink alcohol on the weekends was one of the things, or drink alcohol. If you eat a lot of sweets, put that in there. Let them know. Let Weight Watchers tailor this plan for you. That's what you pay for. That's what we're here for. And if you're not honest, your answers are going to be a little bit off. So anyway, that is it. I hope you found this a little bit helpful. Like I said, not a whole lot to tell you. Not a whole lot has changed with the app. So good luck. If you have any questions, please reach out to me either in the comments below or my email address is always in the description box. The links to my Facebook groups are in the description box. Feel free to click on those and join the groups. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of new plan chatter and what did you pick and what did you pick? And I love the fact that it's really easy to retake the assessment and change because face it, a lot of us eat seasonally. I eat a lot more pasta in the winter than I do other times, I think, because to me, pasta is a comfort food. So I'm sure I'll be changing up my, my choices. Um, I may find that I want Greek yogurt as a zero point food. I can't imagine that in any world, but I do cook with it sometimes. So I, I'm excited. I love that it's personalized. I love that we are now being, I love that almonds and avocado have come down in points, those healthy fats, but I definitely want to go and explore some more um, foods and see what has changed, but it looks pretty good for now. So thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope this helped you a little bit. Like I said, I know it was a little scattered and all over the place, but hey, that's me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love you to hit that subscription button and the notification bell. I upload several videos a week, not only on WW content, but how I live my life and how I fit WW into the lifestyle that I live. So we always have a good time. It's always something going on and I would love to have you as part of my community. So click on that button and leave me a comment below. Let me know what zero point foods that you want to choose. So have a great one guys and I will see you in my next video.